Hello Cancer, welcome to your December 2018 reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Thank you for joining me. Before I get started, I just wanted to quickly mention I have my new 2019 Year Ahead forecast up on my channel, Gypsy Insights by Michelle. So if you're interested, please check out uh, those. And I also, uh, I'm offering a special on my uh, 12 month Year Ahead forecast. Those are the ones that I do month by month. So if you'd like your own personal 2019 Year Ahead forecast, or uh, they also make good gifts as well, so for a present, please email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com for further information. Okay, let's get started on your oracle cards here, Cancer, for December. From the shapeshifters, you've pulled Pose Brave Flight. Not letting fear stop you this time. Now with this one here, you may be being offered a chance to do something out of the norm, out of the normal reality. And what I get with this is very much a uh, the will to take an opportunity. Instead of analyzing it, feeling it's too risky, instead it's, it's about taking the suggestion and flying high with it. It may be a message that comes in and it will be up to you whether you respond or whether you ignore the call. This could be a trip where air travel is involved or an experience where you may have to take some chances and be uncertain of what will happen. So with this one, it's about taking the chance, travel, explore, overcome that fear of flying, metaphorically. All will be worth it, for you will discover something wonderful about yourself in return. Now, Cancer from the Osho Zen, you've pulled the card of exhaustion. So you may have been feeling it at work. It's a portrait of one whose whole life energy has been depleted. And I get it as feeling exhausted, tired, uh, wounded from an experience, from a struggle. Could be work, could be personal related. It's a, an energy here of being so busy, trying to keep everything together and making sure everything runs smoothly that you may have forgotten to really rest. There's an energy here of a need to get that playfulness back. The message of the card is not just about being uh, stressed at work. It's also about all the ways in which we set up safe but unnatural routines for ourselves. And by doing so, keep chaos, uh, spontaneous energies away from our doors. So with this one, it's time to tear up the uh, the time card, break out of the uh, of the normal here, and take a little trip into the uncharted. Hmm. So let's see where this goes. And also as a, your overall energy, you also have home in the sky. So we've got two cards here. So I can't help but think for some of you, it is about travel. It's This card speaks of wanderlust, adventure. You'll see that up in the sky here, you see the floating neighborhood of houses carried by balloons. Birds peek out the windows. So in this card, there are elements of a journey symbolized by sky, birds, balloons, but there are also houses which, which suggest home, security, and stability. So these birds have the best of both worlds. They can travel a big distance without losing their home. They're free to seek new experiences without worry. So home truly is where your heart is. Hmm. So let's see where this goes as your overall energy. I'm going to put this to one side here. Cancer. <clears throat> for your energy, I'm going to be using the cat tarot. And for the person that you're thinking about, I'm going to be using the steampunk tarot. Now I've already meditated on your energy. So I'm going to cut the cards and let's focus in. <coughs> on what you have brought to this situation in the past. What has Cancer brought to this situation in the past? We have the Fool in reverse, so not taking that risk. Out of fear, worry, potentially, I'm getting some hesitation when it comes to, to taking that leap of faith, taking that first step. 
And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, it may be because you were dealing with some a painful ending. Some of you, it will be about the ending of a relationship. For others, it will be really any kind of situation that uh, that led to led to an ending. A feel a feeling of uh, again, I get exhaustion. Very much a feeling here of perhaps needing to go through a healing stage, a healing process before feeling ready to to take that that leap of faith, that next exciting step on your journey. Now when it comes to the other person's energy, the person that you're focused on here in December, let's take a look Cancer and see what they've brought to this situation in the past. If I'm speaking to singles here, this can be work as an other aspect of you. Now what is the other person thinking here? What they've brought to the past? We've got the, the moon card. So with this other person, or this can be another aspect of you, it's confusion, not not seeing things clearly. You know, the moon the moon distorts. When you see things under moonlight, it looks different than in the light of day. And that's how I, I see this this other person's energy, at least in the past. Let's get another card. What has this other person brought to this in the past? What has the other person brought to this situation in the past? A person like Cancer speaking of. The Ace of Cups. So there was uh, around this person a new opportunity or a opportunity for renewal. When it comes to to emotion, to, to love, a, a chance for emotional fulfillment, but not seeing things clearly. Mm, okay, so let's see where you currently stand here, Cancer. Where does Cancer currently stand with this situation? Where does Cancer currently stand with this situation? We have the Knight of Swords, okay, so now we're ready to take action. Where in the past, there was a definite need for some healing after a heartbreak or after going through a painful ending. And there was hesitation with, with taking that leap of faith. I do feel now that uh, with the Knight of Swords, it's very much an energy here of being sure when it comes to, to taking action. It's a feeling of rightness, of, of feeling that it's, it's the right action to take. Now, when it comes to this Knight of Swords, let's take a look. And we also have the, the Page of Swords. Okay, so with this one, we, we have the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. So it is about communication there seems to be an urgency here when it comes to delivering news a message mm, okay it may be about travel or moving th this this movement here so it seems to be about a message about movement now let's take a look and see what uh, the other person's energy is where they currently stand. The person that Cancer is thinking of, where do they currently stand? Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Fool. Okay, so with this one, it's about. I feel this other person wants to apologize, perhaps for taking a risk in the past or making a move in the past that didn't turn out well I feel with the seven of swords in reverse it, it is, speaks to me of someone wanting to make amends asking for forgiveness after doing something perhaps leaving a relationship or uh, leaving you behind but it, it's an energy around this of 
it hasn't worked out well for them whatever this move was I, I, I get some naivety around this person when they made the move so it may have been that they were confused about a new love prospect in the past they have taken the move towards them but I feel now there's an energy of seeking forgiveness wanting to apologize for some foolish behavior mm. all right so it seems like you're receiving this message here cancer rather than you're the one taking the action i feel that you're the one that's receiving this message okay let's take a look and see where you hope to stand with this in the future where does cancer hope to stand with this Ten of Cups, okay. So you're hoping for that happily ever after. You see these cats here with their playful kittens. It, it's joy here. There's fulfillment. All of the cups are filled. There's contentment. A feeling of successful completion when it comes to, to family. And when it comes to where you hope to stand, let's get one more. And the Four of Wands, well, it couldn't be any more clearer. You hope that this is going to, to lead to that successful completion. Certainly a reason to, to be happy. Uh, uh, I pick up for some of you here, most likely a commitment, marriage for some of you, a commitment ceremony. Certainly wanting that happily ever after and, and wanting it to last. You know, the Ten of Cups being a 10 here it does speak about something that you you want to last now when it comes to the other person where do they hope to stand with this where does the other person hope to stand with this oh we have the elephant wow well certainly uh, there's a, a mindfulness here to to taking that next step I, I do feel it it is in relation to taking the traditional route and whatever that means to you uh, it'll mean different things for some people it will be an actual marriage for others it, it will really just be tradition in terms of making a commitment to one another let's take a look what is this hierophant here how the other person is viewing this and we have the four of swords in reverse so it's about healing I do feel that this other person wants to heal the relationship after maybe being away for a time there is a feeling around this of someone has taken taken an offer in the past not another opportunity But I don't feel like it, it paid off for them. There was a lot of reckless kind of naivety around this. But I do feel in the future that, that this person is communicating to you that they are wanting to heal this, to, to come out of isolation or seclusion here and either make a commitment or come back to a commitment mm. let's see how you're viewing this person how is cancer viewing this person we have the two of pentacles okay how is cancer viewing this other person how is cancer viewing this person and strength okay so with the Two of Pentacles, it is about weighing up the options. As a Pentacles card, of course, it speaks about more practical energy. So I feel that any decision to be made here is going to be based on a more grounded energy, practical matters. And with Strength, it, it, it does speak about support. So I, I feel... The energy around this is how you're viewing this person. I feel like your decision is going to be made based on 
the support that, that you feel or if you feel supported by this person or if you're able to support the other person as well it, it's mutual balance between you both support on both sides and I feel that this is what you're going to base your decision whether or not to accept someone's apology here is whether there's going to be balance in this relationship because in the past I do feel it was a more one-sided energy in terms of the support that was felt okay let's take a look and see how this other person is viewing you here cancer how is this person viewing cancer how is this person viewing cancer we have justice in reverse how is this person viewing cancer how is this person viewing cancer and page of wands okay so they see with this one that there's been unfair treatment injustice in the past it may have been a, a break of a, uh, a legal commitment for some of you perhaps a marriage with the page of wands is how they're viewing you though I do feel that they are wanting to I, I get a, a very full energy with this as well they're wanting to, to take this step with you to get things back on track renewed enthusiasm you know the thing is I feel that, that this is what this person did in the past was some kind of unfair treatment they, they went off here seeking excitement it didn't work out but now I feel that they're they're wanting this same energy this passion this excitement with you though cancer that's what I'm getting because they do feel that them going off in search of this excitement in the past was an injustice let's take a look at the uh, your doubts and fears doubts and fears for cancer doubts and fears the king of pentacles okay doubts and fears for cancer doubts and fears for cancer Ooh. okay eight of swords and the seven of swords in reverse okay well with the king of pentacles it's possible that you are dealing with an earth sign male or female because this is a general reading gender makes no difference uh, it could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn uh, Cancer the energy around this person I, I feel is of I, and again I get seven of swords in reverse so I feel like this person is coming back here with a uh, apology wanting for forgiveness for something that they've done in the past that you felt was an, an unfair or an injustice I do feel like they're, they're owning up they're you know with, with the justice card it's very much a feeling of uh, consequences after taking some kind of action so it's almost I, I get it as a, like a karmic energy a karmic energy of someone coming back here to pay a karmic debt it's that that kind of energy that I'm picking up around them yeah and with the eight of swords though there's a feeling here of perhaps fearing that this person is not able to release themselves from either a situation possibly another relationship or person or even mentally some kind of mental trap could be negative thoughts for some but I do feel that this person is wanting to put things right 
the King of Pentacles is in the upright. So with fears and doubts here, Cancer, the important thing to remember is that these needn't come to fruition. It's really just the thoughts that are in our minds that can have the potential to, to trap us negatively, hold us back from taking an opportunity. Let's take a look at the energy of the other person and their doubts and fears. Doubts and fears for the other person that Cancer is dealing with. Doubts and fears for the other person. Temperance. Doubts and fears for the other person that Cancer is thinking of. Doubts and fears. And the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this person is doubting that they can achieve inner peace, that inner calm, that zen feeling. You know, you see the Temperance card and you see this woman here. She's completely balanced. She has wings. She has. She's balancing both of these gears in uh, in thin air here. It and she has one foot in the water and one foot on solid ground, which signifies earth and water and the balance between those things. So I feel with this, it's about inner balance. This person is doubtful of achieving inner calm, inner balance, possibly after going through a uh, some kind of inner struggle, a tough time. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at the challenge for you. Challenge for Cancer, Queen of Cups. Challenge for Cancer, that's your energy there. Challenge for Cancer. So your challenge here is, is, is about showing this person compassion. I feel there's an energy of intuition, using intuition being empathic and we also have the six of pentacles in reverse okay so it's giving but it's not giving too much especially if the other person is not giving as much to you cancer that's what i'm picking up so with this one the challenge here is certainly to to maintain your your energy as the queen of cups someone who is embodying all of the the great things about water signs and you 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 do have that wonderful emotion. You show emotion well. There's a maturity. There is a lot of showing care and compassion. And the only challenge that I'm picking up with this is to give, but not to give too much. To make sure that there's no imbalance when it comes to giving and receiving. Okay, let's take a look and see what the challenge is for the other person. Challenge for the person that Cancer is dealing with. Challenge for the person that Cancer is dealing with. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Challenge for the person that Cancer is dealing with. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, well, mirroring again. So their challenge with the Ace of Pentacles is about taking advantage of an opportunity that is around them for something that has the chance for prosperity, to grow, to be stable, secure, very much that solid, practical foundation. And their challenge with the Six of Pentacles in reverse is certainly, again, for there not to be imbalance when it comes to this relationship. I think the challenge for both of you is about finding that balance of giving and receiving. <coughs> now let's take a quick peek here at the outcome and then we'll move into part two. 
Part two will be the extended version, another 30 to 40 minute reading, and that will be on my Vimeo channel. So if this is resonating, I hope that you join me there. Let's take a quick peek here at the out potential outcome for Cancer. Potential outcome here for Cancer, please. This water sign. Potential outcome for Cancer for this water sign. Okay. We have the, the High Priestess in reverse and the king of cups okay now that is as your energy cancer male or female king of cups energy it's about not ignoring your intuition that gut instinct so let's see where that one goes it seems like when it relates to this relationship it, it seems like there's that, that inner guide and again I get that temperance energy of finding that inner calm that inner peace in order for you to listen to your intuition because oftentimes I feel if we have too much distraction too much noise around us or in our heads we, we don't listen to our that inner voice now when it comes to the outcome and I'll be pulling out a lot more cards in the outcome for the uh, part to the extended reading so I hope that you join me there let's take a look at the potential outcome for the person that cancer is dealing with Potential outcome for the person that cancer is dealing with. Okay. We have the, the chariot. So with that one, it's about taking back control of their life. It's movement. It's having the determination and will to triumph, especially over any kind of obstacle. What is the outcome for the person that cancer? And of course, that is your card, cancer. So that's... Uh, some good energy there. What is the outcome for the person that cancer is dealing with? Oh, okay. Those went flying. So here we have the world and the six of wands. Wow, wow. Well, that's terrific. You know, and, and I got all those travel cards for the aura for your oracles which is uh, amazing so we have two cards of of uh, travel here as well with the chariot and the world and the six of wands it does seem like there's going to be triumph over an obstacle certainly a successful completion and a feeling of victory so wow so we'll continue this in part two uh, i hope that you join me there again the link is below in the descriptions box and uh, I'll be pulling out a lot more cards and we'll see where this goes. Wow, Cancer. Uh, cards are looking good, so uh, let's hope that continues in part two. If I don't see you there, then I wish you all the best for the rest of the year and I hope that you continue to join me in 2019. We're on this journey together. I've enjoyed meeting some of you in the personal readings and I hope that I meet many more of you next year as well. So uh, wishing you all the best, thanking you again for all your support and uh, wishing you well for and the new year as well. So bye for now, Cancer, and I will talk to you again soon.